Fabios. If you didn't know, I'm the vibes. Period. Y'all, I just dropped a new vlog on my blog channel. Link is in the description right now. Just dropped the vlog on my blog channel. Link is in the description right now. Alright, y'all. Burger King got this new sausage burger. Today, we about to try it. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope y'all are in good spirits. October the 11th. Listen, what today is going to bring is what you want it to bring. Fix your mind. Change your mind. Just because you had a bad day does not mean it's a bad life. Just remember that. Just because you're having a bad day or a bad week does not mean it's a bad life. Somebody give me some food. We're going to chop it up as we always do. Y'all was in the comments yesterday like, cuz, you ain't even got to eat. Just pull up. I said, bet. Love y'all. So let's get the food and see what the move is. Let's get it. Um, Yes, sir. Do you guys have the sausage burger? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the sausage burger? No sausage burger, no. Okay, thank you so much. Can I get a Whopper? Just a Whopper? Can I get that cut in half? Add extra mayo? You know why we here. We doing it. Cause... Yeah, what up, what it is, and what it do. This is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. Because just like the video for me. If you could just do me that one favor, we're going to be click tight like this. I promise you, we click tight. I've decided to stop cussing on this channel. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to try. I, I say a little dab, a little boodoo, a little boodoo, a little boodoo, a little boodoo, but I just feel like, mm, I'm trying to be a little lady. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you something about getting that waffle cut in half. See, when you cut that waffle in half, you get two pieces like this here. You see that, ain't it? You see that, ain't it? When you cut that waffle in half, that might be a thumbnail. When you cut that waffle in half, it looks like this here. Yeah. And it's fit to go down. Before we get into this good old bite, hold on, cuz. Before we get into this good old bite, let's go ahead and get this spray, cuz. Bite your head. Bow it. I. Don't ask. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared before my body, Lord God. Thank you for your guidance. Even though I might not understand it sometimes, I want you to know that I trust it. <sighs> thank you for knowing your children. Thank you for judging us by our, our hearts and not our mind, Lord God. We just want to say thank you. No nerves, no anxiety. Just do as you please in this video, Lord God. And as far as my 292,000 cousins, continue giving them the grace to get through whatever they're going through. And let them know that the burden was never theirs to begin with. So we cast them on you right now. We come to you to say thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you for everything that you have done. In your name, I pray. Amen. Y'all said pull up. Y'all said pull up. I was trying to get that sausage burger thing. I said dang. I said dang. I was trying to get that sausage burger thing, but they didn't have it. Let's go ahead and get into this. Boy, we better do it. I was trying to get that sausage burger, but they didn't have it. Y'all, this is one of my favorite burgers. Mmm. Food. Now, if you a cuz OG, you already know. Burger King was my first job. And I still have a heart for it. It ain't nothing like the Whopper. What's your favorite burger? If you can go to any, I'm gonna talk If you can go to any fast food joint and get a burger, what's your favorite burger? I forgot to get cheese. But for me, the Whopper is just so classic. It ain't never changed. Still the same. But up for the boot. If anybody, if anybody in the comments still work at Burger King, let me know if they still slide the patty through that little grill thing and then it come out on the other end. Let me know. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought I would never say this in my life, but that was 20 years ago. That was 20. That was 20 years ago. 
That was 20. <laughs> that was 20 years ago when I worked at Burger King. seems like a long time. It does. Heck, it was. I got a, I just got a water to drink. I came here. I came here to try the new sausage burger. They didn't have it. I will never understand the essence of them Not having what I need, but it's all good. I can't go wrong with the Whopper. We're going to go ahead and get into this conversation earlier. So I was talking to y'all yesterday about what I wanted to do. Something new. Simple. And I think it's possible. Don't quote me on this. But I've just been thinking about it. I kind of want to go back and finish real estate school. I kind of want to go back and finish real estate school. And it's because I really liked it. When I was in school, I loved it. I could see myself having a career in that. Also, too, I feel like I got to go back and finish what I started. I feel like I ain't giving no fair shot when I was taking the classes. You feel me? If you didn't watch the video yesterday, I quit real estate school to become a YouTuber, literally. Because I was working a full-time job. And then I was going to school. And then I was doing YouTube. So I had to choose one. But my heart been heavy on it. If I got any real estate agents in the comments, y'all let me know how y'all like being a real estate agent. I've done my research on it. I think I would be good at it. I could sell water to a well. Imagine me being your realtor. Imagine me being your realtor. It'll be lit. Imagine me being your realtor. It'll be lit. It would be lit. <laughs> it would be. But yeah. I was thinking about that last night after I did that video and I was like that could possibly work for me I could see myself in a suit y'all yeah, know I ain't gonna wear no church shoes no I'm not I'm gonna wear um, some ones every time you see me and I'm your real estate agent I'm gonna be in some ones or some dunks or some Jordans or some threes or some fours all those are Jordans but that's just me though but <laughs> I was thinking about that last night whenever I finished that video like because it's like so much to freaking do. Like, people are literally trouble. I And people for sure. But God is literally like making room for people's gifts. People are being put in positions to do whatever it is they want to do. Sky's the limit. Think about it. You eat every day. You eat every day. I get paid to eat for a living. Walmart greeters, they get paid to smile all day. You smile every day. They get paid to smile every day. God is out here making room for people's gifts. So it, we ain't no different, cuz. If you ain't found your passion yet, it's okay. You ain't no different. You gotta find out what your gift is and find out what your passion is. And God got you. I promise you. You do. I was thinking about something earlier. I had wrote this down. I write a lot of my memoirs down, y'all. But I have wanted to share this with y'all. Because, you know, I share a lot of... Especially if it's inspirational, I'm going to share it with you for sure. So, this is what I came up with earlier. I wrote this down. Just because your intentions were good about a situation, doesn't mean that's what God had intended for you. Just because your intentions were good about a situation, doesn't mean that's what God intended for you. I'm just saying, though, because we take taking a lot of stuff with us on our journey that don't even belong a lot of people, a lot of places, a lot of things, a lot of materialistic things. We taking a lot of this stuff on our journey with us that don't that God never intended. But our heart is so freaking good and we having good we have great intentions for a situation and for that situation to work out. But sometimes that's just not what God intended. That's just not a part of your journey. And we wonder why we so weighed down with stress and we wonder why we're so bogged down with 
all of these th all of these different things it's because sometimes those things were not intended to go where you're going first of all what's up with the black jeep baby because we can keep a card we can keep a gangster how you want to go at it them people ain't even bothered me them people didn't even bother me but we wonder why we be so tied down on our journey and well um, we be so stressed out about other people's problems Just because, just because our intentions were good about it and our hearts were good about it, that does not mean that's what God had intended for our path. It's not. Now look at me. Baby, my giving spirit is beyond me. I will empty out my bank account for a person. I will take on a situation that I know is going to hurt me. I will take on a situation that I know I don't have the mental space to do so right now. I will take on a situation. I will just take it on because I have this healing spirit. And every time that I do, not all the time, but majority of the time, it gets blown back up in my face. Why? Now I'm bogged down with somebody else's problem and somebody else's dilemmas and somebody else's stuff because that stuff was never intended for me to take on my journey. God ain't asked me to take no burdens with me. He never did. He never did. He never asked you to take burdens with you. You got to clear your boat, cuz. You got to clear your boat. There's some stuff that, that you got in your boat right now that ain't supposed to be there. It's not. And that, that could be people. I don't care about your history. I don't care what y'all been through. I don't care what y'all doing. I don't care. If you know that person is not meant for you, sometimes you just got to leave people behind. You got to clear out that boat. That boat is dying there about to sink. Because you got everybody else's baggage on there. You don't even have enough room for yours. You don't even have room for your burdens and your baggage because you're carrying somebody else's. Because I'm here to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that is not your responsibility. It is not your responsibility that somebody else screwed up and now you got to take on that responsibility. That is not your fault. It's not your fault. You got to clear some stuff out of that boat, huh? I'm not done with this little waffle. What? No, I came here for that sausage burger. You knew that. No, I didn't come here for this. I just got this so I can do a video for you. And I love a good Whopper. Mm -mm. I had my mind set on that sausage burger, baby. Yes, I did. Because you think you know everything. I did. I had my mind set on that sausage burger. But they didn't have it. So I had to get the Whopper. Come on, I'm talking to you. You think you know everything. You did. You did it. Herbert and them, girl. Herbert and my mare and them, girl. They've been locked up about two years. But I heard... Come up on. I heard Herbert and Mamera and them was getting out. You know. Ever since Mamera turned stud, baby, she just been in that pretty she top dog over there. She top dog. Little Jimmy got himself together. Yeah. He going to the third grade now. All is well. Herbert. Herbert did he everybody locked up. Ever since Herbert lost that leg. I really don't talk to them folks. I know y'all keep asking me what happened to Herbert and Mamera and them. Man, I don't be talking to them folks. Ain't nobody putting no money on nobody's books. You hear me? Only my cuz OG say cuz OG. I say cuz. If you a cuz OG, just type cuz OG in the comments right now. Only my cuz OGs know about my Mary, Herbert, and Lil Jimmy and them. Y'all already know the vibe. But I'm here to tell you cuz everything is not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to always play hero in somebody else's life. In the chaos that they created. You have all right to ha make a decision to say, you know what? I don't want to deal with that burden because you can't save everybody we're too busy saving ourselves or trying to save ourselves and here we are taking on people places and situations that we should have never get god and never intended for us to take us it's okay for you to say no that's what i'm working on i'm working on saying no no i'm working on saying no and no is a complete sentence and ain't no explanation behind it it's not you know but as you continue going and as you continue learning, learn more about yourself. Learn, start learning about yourself. What you like, what you don't like, places you like to go, places you don't like to go. Because what happens is when we, we carry all these burdens on them, we forget about ourselves. When we carry all these burdens, we forget about ourselves. Because, you well, know, don't forget about you in this process. Look at that nice little truck driver right there. You know, keep your eyes open at all times. Maybe it took him a little second to get on past that. Well, I thought it was at my neck. I said, wait. Because it's okay to say no. Choose yourself. Stop feeling guilty for doing what's best.
for you. That's my problem too. Stop feeling guilty for doing what's best for you. It's so like, if you feel guilty for doing what's best for you, nine times out of 10, you're dealing with a manipulator. Nine times out of 10, you're dealing with a manipulator. If that person can't understand that this is what's best for you and take themselves out of that situation, nine times out of 10, you're dealing with a manipulator. You are. You are. I've been I've been called a narcissist because I'm like I ain't doing that. That's not that's not what I'm doing. I'm no. You're a narcissist. I'm like what? <laughs> oh, you're a manipulator. Oh, I see where this is going. Cause don't let nobody manipulate you out of what you know you want for yourself. Only you know what you want for you. But just because you have good intentions about the situation does not mean that is what God intended for you. Clear some of that stuff out of your boat. It's okay. It's okay. They gonna hate you. You gonna be the villain in a lot of people's story. It's okay. So, them people don't even hate you. Them people got problems with themselves. Because I didn't do what you wanted me to do. You don't like me. That is crazy. That is that is that is crazy. That is a story to tell, isn't it? Choo you. Get some of that stuff out your boat. Man, get rid of them. Um, get rid of them. What you got? Two people. That made me so nauseated, y'all. Every time I eat, I get nauseated. That's freaking horrible. I'm just telling y'all this right now. Every time I eat, I get so freaking nauseated. That's why it be so hard for me to eat. It don't make it no better that I eat so fast. But clear out that boat, cuz. It's not on you. It's in you. It's in you that can never survive. This is your favorite cousin. Hey, This is your favorite cousin. Hey, y'all know what it is. You already know what to do. God is loving. Don't forget to drink a favorite friend. This is a favorite cousin. Let's get this. Ten cards. Gentlemen, what are your intentions? What are your intentions? That's why I be so like cautious of who I give my energy to and who I who I befriend and who I go hang out with because I know my intentions. I know my intentions are good. I know this for sure. I know I have pure solid intentions. But you don't know other people's intentions. You don't. You don't, man. And this day and age it's like a dog eat dog world. They not making them like us no more where our grandmothers and mothers taught us to be kind. And don't use people and just kind of, you know what I'm saying? They're not making us no, like us no more. People are, are befriending people to see what they can get out of them. And that is the most saddest thing I've ever met. Like I said, people aren't building genuine relationships anymore. We're going on vibes. And all all in all, those are horrible people. Good vibes with horrible people. Good vibes when you're going out all this way. But can I call you when I'm having a bad day and you're not going to talk about me? Can I call you when I can't afford my light bill? Can I call you when I'm just having the worst freaking day and I just need somebody to come over here and sit in silence with me? Y'all be using that friend word too loose too. Me too. Me too. It's cool. But we live and we learn. Protect you. Protect your peace. And everything you stand by. Everything you stand for. What are your intentions? Just make sure your intentions are good. If they don't make them like you no more, just keep being you. That's why you so, you know what I'm saying, so blessed. Just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. Love you from the bottom heart. Oh, I gotta do that chip video. Somebody asked for a hot pot video. I now mean, I just gotta drop some bangers. Oh, I gotta drop some bangers. I gotta drop some bangers. I gotta I gotta drop some bangers. We're gonna we gonna work on some bangers. We're gonna work on it. But y'all know my main goal of this channel is to inspire. So a lot of people are like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause I really do want to fulfill everybody's wishes and make sure I'm doing what everybody wants me to do. I just want you guys to know that that is physically impossible for me to do what everybody wants to do but i be listening to y'all i read the comments i be listening to y'all man and i got you just know that i am trying and i know that you are too on this hot tuesday be blessed cuz because you deserve it you deserve all of the riches in earth on earth baby that was a lot you deserve it and don't let nobody tell you that you don't let's get it